He smells his breath. <laughs> and you know what it smells like, right? Booty! <laughs> Cookie Monster. Then it goes a little yeah. something like... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already know, it's that Azo, so let's get right into this video. So today I want to switch it up and I want to do um, getting drunk with my siblings um, and this is truth or drink. Personally, for me, I don't think I could do this with my siblings because one, our age gap and then two, they just, I don't think they would want to know. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah let's get right into it who in this family do you think has slept with the most people in their lifetime he has the most body <laughs> all of us y'all just saying that because i'm gay here he go yeah and it's also the crosby yes crosby gay hi hello <laughs> i'm tysita the diva what's going on everybody i'm coach gig i'm nay and i'm Keish. How do y'all know each other? We are related. <laughs> yeah. DNA. But we're here to play Truth or Dream. Every Honestly, I think that these people are very beautiful. I just, I just need to stop the. <laughs> I just need to stop the video to just admire the beauty and the melanin. Mm. Everyone gets a chance to be the dealer. Let's you get see. to pick who you want to answer the question. If you like their answer, then they get to keep the card. If you don't like their answer, or if they refuse to answer, then they have to take a drink. <laughs> that is so subjective. Right. That's interesting. Let's do mm -hmm. it. Coach, what's something you do specifically to annoy us? Smile hella hard. <laughs> she, hates she, hates ha she hates happiness. So specifically, specifically. in the past, mm -hmm. it was you guys know them plastic runners? Uh -huh. I used to flip them over where the spikes are wow. on top and call people this like it's an emergency. So they used to fall to their hands and knees yeah. and fall on the spike. I was a horrible person as a child. Horrible. Give me a shot because I'm triggered. <laughs> I truly am. I was like, we all are because we know. We know. I'm going to ask you mm. a question. Uh -huh. In what way are we less than the perfect family? We don't really communicate. Damn. clearly with each other or always respect each other I feel, honestly i feel like that's typical sibling stuff like you don't always communicate fully or in the most respectful way because you're constantly challenging your sibling that's probably older than you um challenging their authority um challenging just literally everything in rebelling especially if you're the younger one and i'm speaking from experience and still going through it because i even have a younger sibling so constantly constantly but i feel like as you get older it definitely gets better and you definitely appreciate each other's experience when you're younger or at least you look back on it and be like wow you've really grown type stuff so nothing to worry about that's why I asked you. Keish. Woo! He smells his breath. <laughs> and you know what it smells like, right? Booty! Period. <laughs> Cookie Monster. Oh! Who has sacrificed <laughs> the most for this family? Me, I gave it all. <laughs> go, go put the card back. <laughs> no. Send us home. At this table, none of them have sacrificed. The most. The That's most. great. We, That's true. That's all. great. Everybody has lived their best life. Nobody's making any sacrifices. Nay, who in this family do you think has slept with the most people in their lifetime? Whoa. <laughs> like, fuck? He has the most body. You have the most <laughs> all of us. Y'all just saying that because I'm gay. Here he go. He's stepping it up every because I'm gay. Coach has the most bodies. As we all agree. I see that. What belief do you not share with the majority of the family? I don't believe in the lack of accountability. Ooh. I'm like, let's go without. Let's Come go on, out. actually, hold up. Can we flush this out? Because I know, like, I don't know. I feel like just growing up in general and even going back with, like, you know the whole sibling thing with challenging authority like one sibling being older than the other um lack of uh, accountability for real for real is something that needs to be spoken about 
in households because some parents and some siblings will act like what they did to you was like nothing and they're like well look how great you've turned out now and it's like <laughs> look how great you think you think everything's great because of the exterior you don't know what's going on in the interior and that's why i feel like it's good to confront confront those people or person that you know have had a lack of accountability because honestly i feel like that type of stuff rubs off on you you know as a person sometimes um or it can make you make it difficult for you to identify that with like other people in different relationships and stuff like that even if it's just like a friendship you know um co-worker everything else even your boss um yeah <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, like, I do you hear that. yourself? I think we all believe in that, whether we practice it or not. But I think if you ask each individual, they would say they they hold accountability close. We'll do, we'll do Keish. <clears throat> okay. Do you think we all need group therapy? Yes. yes. So whoever want to get group therapy, <clears throat> put it below. We would like them to be black, no shade. This is for a day. Okay. If we had a family motto, what would it be? Mm. I would say, get rich or die try it. Uh-uh, that's 50 cents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our motto would be, I said what I said! Oh, no, I'm serious. Serious. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let me insert Nene. If I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I, you said, that. I said what I said. Okay, well, what okay. you said was some bull I said what I said and I ain't changing on it. And you never do. You never do. That's why that's what Cynthia was trying to tell you. <laughs> For those of you that don't know. That's from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And yes, I used to watch that show. No shame. Next. Tyrone. It's time to finally say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please forgive me. What is this long overdue apology for? Uh, oh my god. My apology would be to Tysita mm. um, for cussing her out. My sisters don't know me to use profanity. And he was like, You was warm by the river. You were taking that ass. Oh, he really went there. Like, I am a Hold up. Is my camera cricket? I'm sorry. Damn. Damn. That shit was crooked. This, you know what? In your life, I've always taken that extremely serious and any <clears throat> man should never, ever talk to you like that. I'm sorry. Ooh, wow. hi. Dang. Honestly. I have a bunch of brothers and not, no sisters. What the hell? Anyways. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. They brought up some really good questions to like, you know, bring up around like your siblings and stuff like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye!